Hi there. Just wanted to give an update about my book. The Miracle Code is now out in paperback. And I hope it inspires anyone with a chronic illness, autoimmune condition, or anyone that has had a big interruption in life to recognize there is hope, there are things that you can do, and that you can build your own healing journey. To give you a little bit of background, let me set the scene. So I was a professional backpacker for about 10 years, working with at-risk teen wilderness therapy programs. We were hiking around with kids out in the backwoods, helping them learn things like communication skills, confidence, resilience, believing in themselves. And while I loved the work, it was a little bit challenging to spend a week at a time out in the mountains hiking around and then come back and have about six days off and try to build a life around that. So uh, did it for about 10 years and then I was inspired to finish my degree in psychology. So I moved to Portland, Oregon and along the way I also started whitewater guiding. In the summers I would be a whitewater wilderness guide that were sleeping out under the stars, carrying clients down, you know, on those rafts through the amazing countryside in Oregon, along the Oregon rivers, and I was going back to school. So kind of around the same window of time, I was in a psychology class and one of the teachers was showing a film of a documentary and talking about the placebo effect, how the power of the mind can actually physically affect our body, how it can physically make a change, a shift within our body. And I was blown away. Um, so we recognize that just taking a pill, that just having the belief that the pill is gonna do something, that it will actually show effects. But it's not short-lived. Like I, some of my psychology classes, I ask, well, what is this? And they're like, oh, it's a placebo effect. It was always dismissed. It was short-lived results or it's a trick of the mind and it doesn't really work. Well, what these documentaries were showing, and this one in particular, was showing how it's not just with pills, it is actually with placebo surgeries. The people who went through these placebo surgeries healed just as well as people who had the actual surgery. So there's more that's going on. We're just not aware. We can't quantify it or explain it. So science likes to dismiss it. It's part of the human puzzle. We have been testing pharmaceutical uh, medications against the placebo because we science knows this is a huge effect. So they have to test pharmaceuticals against a placebo to measure how effective it is. And this, we've had this since I think the 1960s. Anyway, I was inspired by this video watching this. One of the last scenes of this movie was a man undergoing brain surgery using no anesthesia, only hypnosis. And during the surgery, he's awake and talking to the surgeons. And this totally blew my mind. And I was like, wow, this is hypnosis? What is this? My psychology teachers didn't have an answer. In fact, one answer was, oh, mostly in the psychology world, we think people are just playing along. Hey, wait, <laughs> it had the power to block the pain signal that he could actually use it in place of anesthesia. Something very real is happening. So I ran out, found a local school and certified and went through hypnosis training. Um, loved the training kind of around the same window of time after I had certified I started I was working on the rivers whitewater guiding I started noticing bruises well the wild water, the outdoor life was my thing like 10 years as the backpacker and then during the summers I was a whitewater rafting guide living out under the stars sleeping under the stars the camp life every morning we pack up camp and, and move down the river if we were on the multi-day trips, or even just being out for the day. Sunshine, fun, splashing, swimming. It was idyllic, it was amazing. Along the same time, I started noticing bruises. One of my fellow guides said, hey, you should really get that checked out so you're in top shape for the season. So I, okay, it's probably not a big deal. I did go and get the test done. 
And I also started noticing there was a rash that started over my whole body. And I didn't know what it was. I was feeling really exhausted from my morning jog and from, I don't know, it just kind of showed up. So hoping that the doctor would have better results, I went and found the results and she told me, Holly, I'm sorry to tell you that you have the markers for an autoimmune condition. Confusion, I didn't know what this meant. This didn't make any sense. I'd always been healthy. I'd always been an outdoor girl. This really didn't make sense to me. So kind of this massive overwhelm. Well, what does this mean? Do I just take a antibiotic or something? She's like, no, your immune system is overreacting and attacking the tissues of your body. There's no known cure um, and it's expected to be generative, meaning it gets worse over time. Well, I was pretty devastated from this. And then shortly thereafter, uh, so I started, long story short, taking rounds of uh, medication to suppress the immune system and had a reaction to the medication, which is another whole drama ball of wax. However, I realized that I needed better answers. I needed bigger answers. And so I was devastated that to imagine my future with no rivers, no sunlight, no fun, no hiking or, you know, exercise even. Exercise could actually cause my body to have a flare up. So my book is the story about the process that I went through in looking for these better answers and to notice along the way what I found that worked for me and hopefully what, how it will inspire others. If you are dealing with chronic illness, autoimmune condition, or even just a big change in life where you feel devastated and <clears throat> like your joy <laughs> goes missing. So I distilled down about 10 years and sh tried to share my story. It was pretty challenging because as I think about it now from where I am, I'd have to write it. I'd have to dive in and really kind of get into the nitty gritty of what I was thinking and feeling at the time, which was so, such hard <laughs> to look at, such low energy, um, feeling devastated and along the way somewhat helpless. But as I was using tools of hypnosis, meditation on myself and a, applying the training that I had from neuro-linguistic programming, I was able to understand kind of the deeper layer of stressors in how my thoughts were affecting my body, how my mind, that um, the layers of stressors and old traumas and how my body was responding to the world and to myself was creating this condition or creating the, uh, yeah, creating the condition for my immune system to operate out of whack. So along the way, kind of dove in and untangled as much as I could to create the inner peace that then allows the body to reflect the inner peace through body and health and restoring vitality. So if this interests you, if you're dealing with something big in your life, chronic illness, autoimmune condition, or just a way that you feel uh, not sure if there's good options, I encourage you to pick it up and hope that it inspires you to puzzle together your own healing journey. I include meditations, things that I did that really helped me, and along the way, intuition was also a big factor to recognize what's a good fit for me and to recognize kind of creating a new relationship with my body. What did my body want? What did it need? then how can I best help it in its healing course? So I'd love to hear from you. I'm gonna be sharing the chapters here on my YouTube channel. Um, it is available on Amazon. It's also available in Kindle and it's on my website at thebraintrainerllc.com forward slash book. If you sign in there, I do have a couple of bonuses and things for you. 
When are the two links to the BBC placebo effect research documentaries? It's all researched. It is fascinating and hence illustrates even that the power of our mind is this hugely untapped resource and everyone has access to it. You have access to your mind every day, hopefully, and we can harness that for finding our own answers, asking the bigger questions, and puzzling together, piecing together our own path of self-healing and hopefully overcoming, at least to finding what helps us feel a little bit better. And for me, it was a little bit like a breadcrumb trail along the way, finding what makes me feel just a little better and just a little better all the way until since 2016, I've been symptom free, medication free, and doing the things that doctor said I probably wouldn't be able to do. I love sunlight, I'm out enjoying the natural world again, and I believe that we can heal, but it is an inside job healing and happiness come from the inside out and it can feel overwhelming it can feel exhausting um, but as we start piecing together that puzzle what helps us build up our inner peace just a little more helps us feel just a little better hopefully you'll find your healing path in your journey as well so i hope this book um, illustrates how we can take action, take charge of our health, our thoughts, our mind, and start harnessing it toward what we want to create and even to help assist in healing our bodies and getting to creating more of what we want in our lives. Thank you for watching. Look for those chapters. I'll be posting them. And feel free to reach out. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. If you also have a healing story, I'm looking at collecting others' healing story journeys. If you know of someone who has also healed from, air quote, incurable autoimmune condition or other condition, I'd love to chat and hear their story. Thank you.